Hello Rat Bags, it's Jay Plays Games back again with another Ark Survival Vol video. Today we're looking at 259 PC update. So many bug fixes, so many optimizations. I've already shown you the Tapitara tech saddle. Now I'm going to be showing you something that everyone has waited for, everyone has prayed they would actually put in the game since there was loads of mods on it. It is being able to build unrestricted in non-dedicated or single player games. Now this is coming to Xbox and the PS4. Obviously I'm showing you on the PS4. PC at the moment but it's exactly the same guys when you go into your settings so host the game there are some new settings they've added go all the way to the bottom under general you can see there's two things they've added they've added disable structure placement collision which basically means you should be able to build now unrestricted and I'm going to show you exactly how that works and they've got the corpse locator again something we've all been dying to get hold of it's so frustrating losing your bag because it just never showed up properly or the undergrowth was too big now there are some small other minor adjustments but nothing too major i will be going over every single one of these guys in another video but i really wanted to show you the no collision building Okay guys, so I'm going to actually show you what that no collision option means. So, got a foundation piece and we're just going to literally plonk it a little bit downhill. And then we're going to get another piece here. I'm going to pop that down. Now normally at this point, you'll find you wouldn't be able to put a foundation there. Because it's run into a slope, it'll always be red. But look, you can clip it in. And you can keep clipping it in. This seems to someone who's watching this video for the first time, maybe you've never built something in Ark, maybe you've picked it up for the first time ever, you'll be like, are you for real? Why are you getting so excited about the fact you can put some, you know, some sort of platform into the sand? This makes such a difference in building. It's what lots of mods use. The most popular has been S+. Um, just, uh, well, there's other things that that mod does. That was its main first purpose was that you could actually clip stuff into the scenery, into the ground. So you wouldn't have to come up with different ways of raising and lowering foundations. Particularly on console without the mods, lots of people have had to come out of ways of making foundations rise slightly. Or you would always end up having really disjointed walls. Things you would build would be wonky because you had no way of actually loaning it into the terrain or getting around certain large resources or rocks that you couldn't actually get rid of. So, let's carry on what we was doing. We're going to go and find a big cliff over here, just to highlight it again. So, we've got another foundation piece. We've got a fairly large cliff here that I shouldn't be able to mine. And look at this again. Now, within reason, there are obviously still going to be a few constraints. But you can place the foundation anywhere. Now, this is one of the big selling points of other survival games. Particularly, Conan took a little bit of a swipe at Ark when they announced their building mechanics. They both use the same engine. So, it's really just a case of Ark not having implemented this properly when they first done it. The game is there available to mod it like this. That's why modders made it so you could put things into the scenery or into the actual environmental. But Conan made a big point of being able to make your base into the side of cliffs and you, you wouldn't be blocked by any magical red boxes. But that arc is on that same level. No more are we going to have to put up with that kind of thing. And look, you can put a ramp it as well. I mean, you know, put, your, put that comment in there. How much you have been looking forward to this, guys. How long you've waited. If you're on console particularly where you haven't had a chance to use any mods, how long have you waited for being able to do something like that just putting something in there switching it around and not worrying about whether or not it would clip into something not having to lower it not having to raise it not having to build something completely wonky it is it is revolutionary it's game changing honestly and truly you guys are going to be building so much more now you guys are going to find it so much quicker and easier to build fantastic things and it means that i am going to have even better quality builds to show you guys when i do world tours a big part of what my channel is is about showing off what you guys can do in your creativity. So I will always carry on doing the world tours. Sometimes they're a bit logged off at the moment because I'm doing updates and other stuff. But I can't wait to see what you guys can come up with now. You haven't got any constraints. So I'm going to just craft a few other little bits and bobs just to really get a flavour for it. And we're just going to carry on building. 
it's just it's just amazing it's just amazing we're gonna you can it's gonna be so easy to make hilltop villages or mountainside things going on i can't wait for this guys and that's all that option does it only does it on non-dedicated and um single player obviously i don't think officials are going to have this the big reason being that if you can do this on officials that there, there, there really might be a problem with people abusing it and finding ways to um you know make their bases impenetrable or just really stupidly not not functional you know as part of that pvp game but certainly in single player and non-dedicated player you know why not absolutely you could have this there are still some constraints obviously you still need to have the right building materials i can't just put a ceiling place piece onto the floor or into a cliff it still has to connect and and be something and it does look like you still need foundation support which again is okay as well if you don't know what foundation support is really you do need foundation support under pretty much every sort of piece you put up you can stretch out two from foundation but the next piece you'd have to put an actual pillar to make it stand so there's going to be lots of experimentation i'm sure you guys are going to come up with something much more sophisticated than i'm doing and you're going to be able to teach me some tips like you guys have always done a big shout out to everyone i've ever done a world tour with you know without you guys i wouldn't know a single clue about building and i still don't there's still lots i need to improve but i definitely think i've picked up loads of great tips and loads of ideas from you people so there you go you can get it into the terrain let's go and have a little test of what other terrain you can actually clip it into so you can clip it into trees as well look at this guys that's fantastic no more making your land absolutely obliterated from any sort of overgrowth or you know plants or trees you can literally just go around it now you'll be able to make sort of plant pots and all sorts of things I'm going to run over to the Redwood Forest. I want to take a look at the actual Redwood trees and see what kind of clipping action has changed for them. Right, let's put the foundation. Yes, you can. You can clip into the actual Redwood trees. That is fantastic stuff, guys. That is amazing. You could even build circular. Like I've got the idea now. Instead of having a rope ladder... You could build a circular walkway going up your tree. So let's see if I can put my theory to test. We'll place um, just a normal ceiling tile. Yeah, just like that. And then let's see if we can organise this. Now if I put that one there. Oh yeah that's just about works it's not going to obviously be as neat i mean there might be better ways to make it more neat i'm sure you guys are going to come up with something much better than i've got at the moment piss off raptor there you go just place that one there and then we'll put the seeding one there and you get the idea guys you could literally build some walkways going all the way around your tree that is going to be amazing. I can't wait to do a build with that or someone show me that in a much better way. First person that sends me a screenshot of them making a build using that method, I will come do a world tour of you guys straight away. I think that would be amazing to get up to it. I don't know how it works work when you actually get up to it, but you wouldn't even need a tree platform. You don't even need them. You could just build something crazy and big and massive now. You wouldn't be constrained. I mean, the tree platforms are good. But you could just you could do all sorts with this. Fantastic stuff, fantastic stuff. So there you go, guys. A really exciting time for Ark. It's over been nearly two years since it came out. We've had it on console for at least a year and a half and on PlayStation for at least seven or eight months. We've been dying for this. It really will make a difference. So that's what you need to do. Make sure you click disable structure placement collision if you really want to make sure you can build some fantastic things. I can't wait to see what you guys have got in store for me. I have got a bit of a back catalogue at the moment or lots of people wanting to do world tours. So just bear with me for now, guys. Um, if you want to get in contact about world tour, make sure you send it to me on Twitter. Make sure you send me some screenshots and 
Join my Discord. Discord is probably where I'm at the most lately, that and Twitter. So if you really want me to see your pictures, join my Discord and you can post your pictures up there. If you've got a video of your little base tour, put it up there. Go ahead, it's what you guys it's for you guys, it's for you guys to share your stuff. So go and join my Discord, the link is in the video description. Go and check it out and I'll try and get over with a base tour for you very soon.